Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Consultant and what I'd like to do today is to introduce you all to my Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis, Nike 2022. So the way this video is going to play out is first and foremost going to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. Um, after that, what I'm going to do is introduce you all to the start of the show, which is Nike's um, The Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis for Nike. I'm going to show you all how it's structured, the different components of it, and um, hopefully after I'm done with it, you'll be able to see the value of the report, and i am also provide you all with a link to purchase a beginner's guide. And also the link to purchase a beginner's guide is right here as well. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this little PowerPoint presentation. Shouldn't take but a few minutes to do. All right, so as promised, a little bit about me, Paul Borowski, MBA, doctoral candidate, as well as adjunct professor and subject matter expert in finance. So uh, w with those credentials, I do have a little bit of finance background, not only um, from the educational perspective, but also real world teaching experience for um, finance. Um, I've been also writing public financial reports for the last five years. Uh, annually, I do about 15 to 25 different reports. So again, I, I've got some experience from that perspective as well. And then finally, I'm, I am also a published author. Uh, that I've published on Amazon.com, The Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios. Uh, so check me out there. All right, so with those credentials set as a foundation, again, let's go ahead and bring back the star of the show, which is Nike 2022, the Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis. So in my Financial Analysis Beginner's Guides, what I do is I break in the Beginner's Guides into three sections, which is the Income Statement section, the Balance Sheet section, and then the Financial Ratios. So let me go ahead and show you what's included in each one of the sections. So for the income statement for Nike, the, what I do is first I'll go ahead and I'll summarize the income statements for the last five years. And here's an example of how I summarize Nike's financial statements. And so it starts with the revenues, goes through the cost and ends with the net income. Next, what I'll do is I'll break out important line items from the income statement, for example, revenue. I'll explain it, I'll define it, I'll give it to you in layman's terms, and then I'll also provide some tip analysis to what to look for when you are analyzing that particular line item for Nike for the last five years. The second section is Nike's balance sheet. So again, I'll summarize Nike's balance sheet for the last five years, like you see right here, and I'll also, again, extrapolate important line items from the balance sheet, for example, cash. I'll explain what the cash line item means. I'll give it to you in layman's terms. And again, I'll also provide you all with some analysis tips for analyzing the um, specific line item for the balance sheet. And here is the, the creme all the creme for the beginner's guide is the financial ratios. So in the guide I, for Nike, I do provide you all with numerous ratios. I classify them into liquidity ratios, asset ratios, profitability ratios, and debt ratios. And for each one of the categories, I'll then break it down further. For example, liquidity ratios. I'll give you an example of several liquidity ratios, and I'll also provide you all with the formulas for the liquidity ratios that I use. And then I'll also give you all a summary of liquidity of the liquidity ratios, and I'll, I'll give you all a summary of what each one of the liquidity ratios were for the last five years so you're able to identify the trend for Nike. I go even further with the financial ratios and I'll break out the important financial ratios. For example, the current ratio, I'll explain what the current ratio is. I'll give you the formula again. I'll explain the for the, I'll explain it in layman's terms. I'll also give you some financial tips, some analysis tips on you know, what you can do and not do for the current ratio or whatever the ratio is that we're analyzing. And then I'll also show you the calculations used for the ratio. For example, the current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities. So I'll give you the formula right here. I'll show you the numbers that I use to calculate the ratio. And then I'll also provide you with that ratio for the last five years. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful and you all can see the value of getting my Nike 2022 Beginner's Guide to Financial Analysis. If you are interested in that report, all you have to do is just go to this link right here, click on it, and scroll down and purchase the Beginner's Guide. All right, hopefully this information was helpful. As always, have a great day. Thank you.